Hello children, <clears throat> today we are going to learn about <clears throat> a country called as Holland. Now you all know that we live in India and we are called as Indians by other country people. Now in India there are, <clears throat> there are many stories that are told by the older generation like your grandparents or your parents. Now they keep telling you all many stories of their childhood or about the uh, place they came from. Right children? Now in the same way in this story what we are going to learn about it is the story of a small young boy called Hendrik who lived in the country the place called as Holland. Henrik would be 10 years old in 10 months. All his life, he had heard about the dikes. Dikes are those places which are either formed naturally or uh, <clears throat> artificially, like man-made slopes or walls to regulate the flow of water, the water levels. He knew that a big part of Holland, his homeland, his homeland is called as Holland, lay below the level of the sea. That is the area, the place is lower in level than the sea. The sea is little on the higher side. And the only things that protected it from being flooded were the dunes and the dikes. Dunes are lots of small bridges made from the clay and the stones. The dikes which were made by humans, that is, they are built by humans, were the most important since very long ago. Hollanders had put up great mounds of earth and sod to save their land from the tides. Tides means rushing of water into the land. Great mounds of earth. Mounds means what children? Heaps of soil or the earth. And sod means grass. Grass and that is grown on that place near the sea. Sought to see, save their land from the tides. It was a cruel war between the rising of the sea and the strength of the dikes. Like whenever there is a uh, tides, high tides and low tides, the rising of the uh, water from the sea. That used to have like a war between the strength of the dikes. The water used to uh, come rushing towards the dikes and the dikes used to stand strong because they are made of rocks and earth and clay. Now and for many years the sea threatened to win. That means the sea water was uh, stopped by these high built dikes. But the Hollanders loved their country. Sometimes the water used to rush into the village. But Hollanders, they loved their country and would not allow the sea to drive them out from their place, from where they are living. So they used to keep strengthening the dikes from time to time. They fought back the waters that rolled in from the North Sea. They protected the soil with longer and larger dikes using barriers of clay and stone as well as bricks. They used to use all these things to make the dikes more stronger and stronger so that the dikes would stop or resist the water gushing from the sea, running from, rushing to the land. Hendrik's grandfather had been a dike builder. His father looked after dike repairs. So all the family members of Hendrik, they, use, they are involved in the dikes, either building or repairing or looking after the dikes. So his grandfather, his father and uncle, they're all involved in this work only. Hendrik's grandfather had been a dike builder. His father looked after dike repairs. So whenever there are any small minor uh, repairs or major repairs, so his father used to look after and his grandfather used to construct or build the dikes. Hendrik admired the way the dike was constructed. He used to go for a walk in the evening. 
and he used to stand on those dikes. Uh, can you see in the picture here, children? Brown uh, stones, and uh, it is uh, fixed with clay and soil. This this is the dike. Now, they uh, Hendrik used to admire the dike which was constructed. Its tall grassy flanks and the great stone blocks on the seaside put there to break the violence on the onrushing waves. These dikes used to stop the onrushing waves. Can you see here the waves? Yes, how they are coming. The water. They used to come there and stop. Now, he would imagine himself. Who here? Yes, Henrik. Henrik would imagine himself standing on the wall as if it is where a, it were a rampart and would give a victory call to the sea. He used to feel like as if he's a king standing there uh, in his castle surrounded with a high wall. He would make expeditions into the countryside. Expeditions means unexpected, unplanned journey into the countryside. Countryside means inside the village, like in the uh, forest and all nearby places. Exploring the turns and twists of the walls, examining the ways in which they were built, trying to guess their age. When, whenever Hendrik used to go for a walk, he used to walk and admire the dikes which were built by his grandfather and he tried to guess the age of them. One day he roamed farther than he had ever gone, much farther than he had intended. One day when uh, Hendrik went uh, out from the house, he thought of walking only for a little further, but without realizing the time he walked and walked walked so long that he walked that he forgot the time and he did not realize that he had come very far away from his house and when then when he realized it became little dark the sky was darkening when he turned towards home there was no time to watch anything except the shady unfamiliar road now, what is the meaning of this? When he, he realized that he had come so far away from his house and he turned back to go home. Now here, then he saw that it became dark and X. He could not see anything except shady, unfamiliar road. Shady means shade from the trees. And unfamiliar road means which he is not familiar or he is not used traveling. That place that he came very far away from his home. It was a still, chill, stormy evening. The birds had gone to their nest. Even the birds which usually fly in the day. They go to their nest by the end of the day. When it becomes dark, when the birds also go back to their nest. And how was the day evening, children? It was still, chill, stormy evening. Still means what? Without any movement. Chill means very cold. Stormy will be. There is a lot of breeze. There was no sound in the air except Henrik listened intently. Intently means very carefully. He heard no sound because that place is so less traveled by people. It be because he came very far away from the house. He could hear only the sound of air but suddenly he heard a sound which he knew and he he thought what would happen if it is too late but he did not want to believe what he heard but it is true that what he is hearing is true because the voice is the sound is coming very low he did not want to believe what he heard but he knew only too well what it was it was the sound of water. Nothing much, only a trickle. What is the meaning of nothing much, only a trickle? That means the water is dripping only drop by drop. But Henrik knew what it would mean. That means the small sound, the little drop by drop sound, if it becomes big, that means the entire place or the entire village or the entire country would be flooded by the 
not say water he knew that the trickle would soon become a gurgle gurgle means loud big uh, rushing sound of water then there would be a gush followed by a rush and then a roar and the not say would sweep in sweep in means comes into the village come to the village for a moment for a moment he stood bewildered bewildered means he was totally surprised he was totally taken by surprise with the sound it was growing dark and it is very difficult for him to see or search for the small hole from where the water is leaking drop by drop finally he found it a few feet from the ground few feet from the ground means because the dikes are little higher and he is only a 10 year old boy and he is he is not very tall also for a 10 year old boy he could reach it but somehow he managed to reach to that hole it was as he suspected a small leak small enough to be stopped with one finger now the leak is so small the hole it is so small that he thought that if he puts his small finger the hole will be blocked so that water will not drip or leak and at first he was not worried he even felt a little heroic in the beginning when he saw that small hole and when he thought of putting his little finger in that hole he felt like a heroic little heroic means he felt like hero doing something great for the first time elated to see that the finger of one small boy could hold the mighty water saint check now we will be learning about the what happens later in the story in the next video